The Communist Party of China, or CPC, will commence its sixth plenary session of its 18th Central Committee on Monday. The four-day plenum will deliberate on the drafting of two documents on party discipline. CCTV Stangbo looks back on some of the previous plenary sessions to find out how important these sessions are to party building and the country's development. The Communist Party of China holds a plenary session at least once a year in Beijing to develop policies and make key decisions. This month's plenum agenda falls within the party's tradition of discussing ideological framework and party building. But experts say it comes at a particular time of importance. One of the most important uh, tasks uh, they fulfilled, they have fulfilled, is combating corruption. And marked achievements have been made. Now it is time for us to sum up the experience and to institutionalize combating corruption. Every Central Committee of the Communist Party of China usually holds seven plenary sessions during its five-year term. From 1981 to 2011, the party's seven Central Committees have held seven six plenary sessions. Each one of the six plenary sessions reflected its own time. For example, in 1981, the sixth plenum of the 11th Central Committee affirmed Chairman Mao's proper standing in history in light of the still fresh Cultural Revolution. And that of the 13th Central Committee in 1990, this session decided to strengthen the ties between the party and the people when the country was deepening its opening up and reform policies. Since the Chinese Communist Party is the ruling party of the whole country, so to understand the governance of China, it is necessary to understand the plenary session. All the important policies and uh, development of orientation are decided at the plenary sessions. We can say that. Experts say the reason for touching upon party building at almost all of the six plenary sessions is mainly because the Communist Party of China is key to the country's development. Since 2012, China has witnessed a sweeping anti-corruption campaign. This is an example of continued efforts by the party to guarantee the Chinese people an advanced and honest ruling party. Tambo CCTV, Beijing.